Hi everybody, this is Spaskis, and in this tutorial I am going to teach you how to convert tracks from R Factor 1 to R Factor 2 with 3D CMIT, the, the beta version. Uh, the circuit I will I will be using uh, is a Lutzland circuit, which uh, has been made by Bori Molly, uh, like me, from Elfco Tracks. Uh, first of all, uh, I will explain you a little bit uh, the folders we will be using in process so that you, you will make familiar to them. Okay, here I have them in favorite. Uh, here is the, the easiest, the R Factor 2 installation folder. This is a separate folder I use for packing. Uh, I call it R Factor 2 Mass, and here we have the mass folder where we will put all the mass files and the package folder where we will put all the components and mods to be installed in R Factor. Here is mass2.exe which is the packer and this is the mod manager that we will not use uh, which is for installing components in this virtual folder to, to generate for example uh, virtual mods. Okay, uh, finally, the, the locations folder uh, where we will uh, work now and where we have different projects and uh, here there are two VVSs. This is the original Create New Track VVS from Avion A that you can download in easy forums and I have adapted it to, to convert tracks where several things uh, can be simplified. Okay, so let's start converting. So we we double click in convert track VDS, it asks you for the name, and we will use the same name, the AIW of the circuit, original circuit uses. We paste it in here, accept, and we see how it creates the new folder. We get the folder, the folder, we go to the, to the one with the same name of the track, and we will copy here the original AIW cam loading JPG and cam PDA files. We say yes to that, and uh, we will also edit here the the name of the uh, loading icon of the track is a good one this is how it creates the VDS script we save ok, okay. now we open 3D image and we will uh, import with the circuit this CN, the original CIN. Okay, we keep pick up the Skyboxy DMT object, we erase it, since we will not use it, and we export both a factor object into Lutland as its DMT and the textures the same. Press no. And we've already exported everything necessary to 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 play our factor two in that mode. We just need to take the new DMT the new sorry the new output scene. You open it with notepad, copy everything, close it, and open the, the scene file, and you replace the last part with the instances with the new with the new scene, and you press save, and this is ready to be played in R-Factor 2 
in dev mode as we see right now. Go to dev mode. And when it opens, go to track. Here is the transcript. The icon is not edited. Still, to be able to load the track. Still no real road implemented. We will cover that in in another tutorial, a specific tutorial, because it takes us at most time to do this. Uh, as to implement real world. Okay. Let's raise. Press and Y. The yeah. And here it is. Now in that mode you can pick the AIW editor. You can save waypoints. So that you have the ori an original Alpha 2 AW. And you can do the same thing with the camera editor. Say it it works fine with our factor one, but I think it's better to do this. Okay, so now we will implement real road, but for that we will create a special a scenario where we will include the track objects which are named this way. So we go to our locations to the DMT folder and we open the uh, output scene that has been generated and we remove everything set for these track files so everything else away and we save it a different name and we open that close this, we don't need it we will work on the other one to avoid messing with other materials except for the raw materials. Okay, here we go. So we open the material. This has these textures, only two, low bump, the diffuse one. So we will open uh, Brian's and Secret. And we will copy the materials properties from the raw material. Okay, here we go. Material raw nine treatment old, which it has more textures on it, with a different shader. We copy it, paste it here. Here it changes this color. We close this because I don't need to look to see what I have to put. And we will replace these textures with the ones of Brianza. I have them here separated. I will copy them into the GMT folder. Okay. And I replace them in the different textures here I like road P1 okay and for third race group and the rest of them are already filled we will do this with all of them paste it change asphalt mode Road V1, Race Group. Okay, after doing that with all the materials, we will export our factor into Lutron Assets GMT. And now we need to replace all these GMT objects, the name by a name. Uh, that comes with uh, a surface. So I open our circuit with the GMT. So I need to 
call it by name. Okay. And of this T something we will rename as wait from T here uh, okay. until here will rename us graphics our name that okay so now we have them renamed and we will have to change also the the scene file we will change the original one so we open and we need to replace the names of all the T0 to T5 to and put the racial facet before it so we will copy it and paste it in a new file here and we will replace so that we can sorry about that so that we can put rough surface and replace all from T0 to T5 T2. Three, four, and five. Okay, and now we need to change also this part. So I copy it, replace, paste here, paste here, and I will open another location use this uh, this black coloring and I will copy how it goes paste it here replace everything and now copy everything paste it in the original one save it not save it this one okay open this one and I'm going to open the file thing we just created okay and we are going to open also the Brianza circuit to copy the the background scenery Select the object, skybox is GMT, we isolate it, and we, as we did before, we save to a factor model into the GMT text. Okay, uh, and we export textures. Okay, and now we will add the exported object. into the scenery don't worry the textures don't appear uh, we will put it in the right position let's use 0.6 scale 0.6 scale let's move it a little bit minus 200 and that 300 okay let's put 250 and minus 250. Okay, that's okay. And we'll export it. Put it a little bit up. Okay, and we'll export it the same thing as the two objects, B and T. Okay, now if we open the Output barrel scene, it will be fine with the texture, so it's a bug, I guess. Okay, so now we just need to introduce the line 
in the good scene file, so we'll open this scene, pick up the last object, which is the ones the one we have just created, and paste it in the good scene file in the last position. Okay. And now everything is ready to be packed. So we'll open mass2.exe and we will add uh, the files located here. We'll start this one. We'll save this file as uh, slam main. Okay. We now put the EMTs. This is the, the biggest one. We save it as Rootsland EMT. Okay, it takes quite a while. I will remind you to to change uh, your main texture to to have channel alpha to Photoshop, otherwise the the texture will not will not be transparent. Let's say, and we you will not have the visual real road. I don't know all about physical one, but you need to have alpha channel in the main texture so that you can appreciate marbles and the group. Okay, finally, the Bootland Circuit folder, folder files, save it as Bootland, as anything. Okay, and finally, here we will copy the PCM file and rename it as Dutchland circuit we remove this okay with the by name okay they're all together and finally we will okay now we click here add new component Circuit. Okay. It's good. Package. Name of the package. Bootland. One dot zero zero. I say yes, yes to create. I put zero zero just to match as a matter, and I introduce the different mass files we just created. and we package the component which is ready to be installed into our factor 2 so we just start our factor, click manage mode, show modes only and we click the blue transfer suite, install it start in single player and you'll see the, the circuit ready to be loaded Replay. Here you have it, it's not circuit, click race, it loads, and hopefully everything will be okay. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you can use it.